Hello dear friends, this is mathematics and in this video we want to look at this question coming from 2023 GCE paper 1 and the question was number 3. The question reads, factorize completely 3x squared minus 27. You are doing what? You are factorizing. Coming from which topic? Algebra. Okay. So now, here the stem is to factorize. Remember we have about three types of factorization. Three major types of factorization. Plus the minor, making it five. I mean making it four. So we have factorization by grouping, meaning four terms are given. Quadratic factorization, meaning three terms are given. Difference of two squares, two terms are given. And common factorization. You need to identify the type that you are dealing with. Look at the way it is. How many terms? Two terms. One, two. Okay? Then, immediately you identify. Then what should come into your mind is difference of two squares. That's the type that we are dealing with. This is difference of two squares. Only two terms. They can be fractions. They can be all numbers like this. Just know that you are dealing with a difference of two squares. How do you go about it? The moment you remember that this is difference of two squares. Well, under difference of two squares, in between the two, Terms, there should always be a minus, no plus, only minus. So we have 3x squared minus 27. Now, as you are carrying out this type of factorization, the numbers that must be there should be square numbers. Okay? Should be square numbers. Even variables must be squared. If you identify that those things are not there, then they are saying you should perform common factorization first before the difference of two squares. Let's look at this. Is the three a square number? What I mean by square numbers are these. From the natural numbers, and you see these natural numbers. When we say square numbers, it means you are forming another type of numbers. One squared is one, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, the list goes on. So these are square numbers. Now look at this. Is it 3 a square number? Is it here? No. Look at 27. Is it here if we are to continue? 27 is not. Then you should know that, oh, here they are now telling me to perform common factorization first before I apply difference of two squares. So the common factorization we are talking about is, you look at the two terms. What is common on both sides? You can agree with me that it is a three. Open brackets. Three into three is one. So I'll remain with x squared minus three into 29, 27 here. It will give me 9. I see that? That is common factorization. This is called common factorization. But is it done? No. We are factorizing completely. At this point now, focus on what is inside the brackets. Inside the brackets here, we have x squared already square. Now look at 9. Is 9 a square number? Yes. It is here. It's a square number. See that? Then we are going to perform difference of two squares. So we are going to say 3 must be outside just like that. Then what we have here is this. The difference of two squares says you need to have two brackets. One should have plus, the other one should have minus. So you express this in terms of the square. You express 9 in terms of square like this. So this 9 here will be represented by that number, which is 3 squared, so that I have squares everywhere. So the 9 here, I will now be able to say x squared 
minus 9 will be 3 squared. So that I have squares everywhere. After that, ignore the squares. Just write the bases. So the base now will be x minus 3. Then the other one will be x plus 3. So you are factorized. You see that? You just now get this, put it here. So you use these brackets. Then you have x plus 3. Then the other one will be x minus 3. This is your final answer. That's the way you should be able to factorize such kind of questions. I hope you have learned. Thank you for watching.